In this video, I will be giving you a complete guide on how you can get a UK student visa. So in this video, we will discuss an introduction to the UK student visa. I will also give you the eligibility requirements, the documents that you need, the online application process, the biometrics appointment, paying the visa fee and how to go about it, waiting for the decision, arrival in the UK and your visa validation. And in the end, I'll give you some tips to increase your chances of getting your visa approved. So let's start with the introduction to the UK student visa. Before we discuss the documents, the requirements or anything else, we need to first understand what is the UK student visa. So UK student visa, also known as a tier 4 general student visa, allows international students to study in the UK. So basically, a UK student visa allows you to study in the UK. So now let's discuss the eligibility requirements. To be eligible for a UK student visa, you will need an acceptance letter by a UK institution, your financial requirements, a proof of your English language proficiency, and a TB or tuberculosis test. Now keep in mind you have to meet all of these requirements. If you miss even one of them, you will not be eligible for a UK student visa. So now let's discuss the documents that are required for a UK student visa. The document requirements are as follows. You will need your passport and passport size photos, confirmation of acceptance for studies, CAS, from your institution, proof of your funds, academic qualifications, your English language test results if applicable, what this means is that if you're from an English speaking country, you won't need this English language test result. But if you're from any other country that does not speak English natively, you will have to give an English language test. Your tuberculosis test results, if applicable. And lastly, any other documents that may be required. Because sometimes for certain countries or for certain candidates, the visa authority may require some extra documents. Once again, you will have to meet all of these requirements in order to get your visa. If you miss any one of them, you won't be able to get your visa. So make sure to prepare all of these documents and make sure that you get legit documents and don't try to cheat in this section. So now let's discuss the online application process. The online application process is pretty simple. You have to go to the official UK government website to apply for a visa. You have to create an account, fill out the visa application form, pay the visa application fee and book your biometrics appointment. We will discuss the last two points in detail. So first, let's discuss the biometrics appointment. After submitting your online application, you will need to attend a biometrics appointment. This involves providing fingerprints and a photograph at a visa application center or a local service point. This is a crucial step because your biometrics are extremely crucial for your visa approval. So make sure to keep this in mind. And now let's also talk about paying the visa fee. As we all know, payment is an essential step. You have to make sure that you pay the correct visa fee and you pay it on time. The visa fee can vary depending on your situation and the duration of your course. However, payment can be done online and you will receive a payment confirmation receipt. So now, the most boring part, waiting for the decision. Once you have submitted your application, you have to wait for the decision. Patience is key at this stage. You will have to wait for a decision on your visa application, which typically takes a few weeks. You can track your application online and if necessary, you may be asked for further information. So make sure you don't miss any important emails or messages from the visa authority. Now if your visa is approved, you will move on to the next step which is arrival and visa validation. This one is pretty simple. Once your visa is approved, it's time to pack your bags. But remember, your journey doesn't end there. You will need to follow specific steps upon arrival in the UK, such as visa validation and registering with the police if required. This is another crucial step because a lot of candidates don't think this is necessary, but this is extremely important. And now lastly, I will give you some tips for success and for better chances of getting your visa approved. The tips are pretty simple. You should start the process as early as possible because the visa approval can take from weeks to months and it's not something that can be done overnight or in just a few days. So make sure to start the process as early as possible. Secondly, make sure to double check all the documents. Trust me, even the smallest mistakes in your documents can lead to much bigger problems later in the process. So make sure to double check them before submitting them. Thirdly, make sure to maintain your finances. The financial requirement is one of the hardest to meet because it is very specific. You have to keep a certain amount of money in your bank account for a certain period of time. I would recommend you keep it for longer than the time required so that the visa authority can make sure that you have all the necessary funds to come and live in the UK. You need to also stay updated with the visa rules because they're constantly making changes to them every year. So make sure to stay updated on that. And lastly, you should seek professional advice if needed. This video is just a basic overview of the whole process and to give you an idea of what you can expect. 
But if you need professional help, you should definitely get some. Now that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for more. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.